what's up? Yes, I did survive Black Friday, thanks for asking. I really just don't understand Black Friday. Plus, it doesn't even like to be called Black Friday, it prefers African American Friday. God, get it right. It's the only holiday where you're expected to die because of deals. Deals. Some bitch stabbed three people this year just to get the last Xbox One from a store. Like, how fucked up is that? They're just like... <laughs> DEALS! I SMELL DEALS! <laughs> Here's Black Friday logic. Normal price, $50. Great! Oh, Black Friday's coming up. Hold on, one second. Let's increase that to $100. But then, it's 50% off! So it's only $50! $50! 50! 50 of those dollars! <laughs> Fucking America, what are you doing? But what's up guys and welcome back to Cat and Dust Q&A. Here with me, the only guy who has non-consensual sex with his own hand. Cat and Dust Dust. Get down there. Oh yeah, you oh naughty girl. God, no. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What are you looking at? Don't touch me. And before we get into me not answering questions properly, I just wanted to say I put up a few new merch items in the District Line store just for the holidays, so make sure that you add Cat and Dust's merch to your Christmas list. Or I'll fucking kill you. No, 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 I will not kill you. It's all good. But without further ado, let's get on to some questions. Remember to follow me on the Twitter or the Tumblr to ask me questions. Links below. Question number one. Destry, if you had to live in a world without sex or a world without music, which one would you choose? Question number two. Captain Ness says, what slash win was your most inappropriate boner? What in God's name is a boner? I am just kidding. I have one right now. Well, I'm going to exclude all the billions of ragers that I'd pop in middle school gym class. Which, by the way, is totally fucked. Middle school gym class is a death trap for boners. Let's take a whole bunch of pubescent boys, put them in tight, revealing, comfy shorts with no pockets. And let's put them in a class with newly developing females wearing questionably tiny shorts, where the object of the class is to watch them engage in physical activity, where where they're going to be jiggling in areas you're newly interested in. That's a great fucking idea. Whoever decided on co-ed gym class, fuck you, man. Fuck you! But I do remember once when I was in high school, I was at a school dance and I had this omega huge crush on this girl and I just so happened to look over at her at one point and uh, she did some sort of, you know, like twisty move with her hip and my four inch love snake would not have it. I began acting like a caveman has just discovered fire. I was like, <laughs> Pretty sure at one point she just looks over at me and I'm hip thrusting the air violently looking in her direction. <laughs> and that's when she decided to avoid me for the rest of the year. That's my life! Question number three. What is the most awkward selfie you've ever taken? Taken? Took? I've ever took? Peregrine took. Mushrooms! Mushrooms! Off track, my bad. Okay, here's the thing. You know those people that no matter what just take really gorgeous selfies? Like you could catch this person sniffing goth mob's nutsack and this person's face is still like... You could literally throw this person out of an airplane with no parachute and any normal person's face would be like... Ah! Yet this person is like... Okay. I am not one of those people. I rarely take selfies because when I do, it's like 10 minutes of me looking like a complete derp with the camera in the air, followed by 10 more minutes of me laughing at myself for even trying to take a serious selfie. And then to top it all off, it's 10 more minutes of me looking through 200 photos, trying to decide which one I don't look like a person whose day job is to grope children. True story. In other words, you're asking the very wrong person. Question number four. Destry, what is your porn star name? Um, well, for those of you who don't know, to get your porn star name, you take the first pet you've ever had and combined it with the first street you ever lived on and voila there's your porn star name. So for me that would be Simba Encino. Just what the hell? I sound like the most Mexican porn star of all time. Yo Landis, who has some of this penis? <laughs> Not that cool. So I think for now I'm just going to give myself my own porn star name that I think will do me some sort of justice. So my porn star name forevermore shall be Titty Ripping Pussy Destroyer. <laughs> yeah! I think it's brilliant. I don't dance around the subject like the other porn stars. You know exactly what you're getting when you hire me. Your titties ripped and your pussy destroyed. <laughs> Oh god, that's disgusting. That's right, and I'd also have a catchphrase whenever I strip down in porn. Yeah, it'd be my catchphrase followed by that Seinfeld based thing, you know what I'm talking about? So it'd be like, it's titty ripping time. Question number five. Captain Nessus, what is the first thing you notice on a person when you first meet them? Probably their titties, so I get to see how much I get to rip. <laughs> Your porn star destiny. No, but actually, ever since I've been watching the show Sherlock, I've been pulling a Sherlock on every person that I meet ever. Except for I suck hilariously bad at it. Hey, what's up, Destry, right? My name's Marcus. How's it going? Oh, I'm doing much better than you, thanks for asking. Seeing as how the fold in your pants would indicate that you recently undressed a nun at a city morgue. What? 
How would the fuck does that- Say no more! You're lucky I don't call the authorities for the stain on your shoulder. From nights dressed up like a woman dancing around to discotheque music while eating soup, is it not? What the hell are you talking about, man? That's mustard! I'm on to you! And judging by the state of your pocket watch, I would assume that you're a left-handed masturbator! And judging by the stain on your left hand leg, thought I wouldn't notice, but I did. I would say that your average masturbating session lasts more than mo- I would say three hours, but last night was a little bit more special, wasn't it? Four hours, five hours, six! And normally you get off to watching dogs hump each other, don't you? But no, 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 last night was special, no! You decided to watch planes disembark from the airport and masturbate to it, didn't you? Yeah, I don't have many friends, as you can probably guess. Even Watson has left my side. Oh, Watson, why have you gone to be Bilbo Baggins? Why? For people who don't watch Sherlock, none of that just made sense. I'm sorry. Question number six. Destry, if you had your own fragrance line, what do you think it'd be called? Well, I was gonna say Destry's Love Juice, but that doesn't really sound quite right. And Captain's Delight also sounds like a porn tape, so... Is it titty ripping time? No, not now. So if I did have my own perfume, I'm pretty sure I would call it Candy Nipples. Candy Nipples. Candy Nipples. You thought you smelled good, and then you bought Candy Nipples. It'll make your partner say, Oh, damn. That's fucked up. Candy nipples will make you wetter than Neptune's lair in The Little Mermaid. You'll be wetter than when Percy Jackson exploded those water towers. Wet. Spray candy nipples on your nipples. Double nipples. Your tits will be like Jafar's staff. Mesmerizing. You want candy nipples. I do. Shit, yeah you do. Candy nipples for that grungy prostitute inside of all of us. Prostitute. Do you want to smell like shit? Or do you want to smell like candy nipples? Candy nipples. Buy it today, you whore. Honestly? I would buy it. Sign me up, sir. Take my money! And now onto our video response question of the day. This one comes from a gent named Ahoy Nato. Who the hell is Ahoy Nato? The mystery continues. <laughs> Anyways, though, he asks, Oh, hey, Destry. Would you rather go on an adventure with Dumbledore or Gandalf? Uh, Dumbledore or Gandalf. Okay, so my choices are I either go on an adventure with a really old guy or another really old guy. Great! It's just my opinion, but I think if I was to ever go on an adventure with Dumbledore, he'd be like, Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm so fucking tired! My fucking legs! My fucking legs! Oh! 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 Oh, my legs! Dumbledore, we walked four feet, man. We're not even out of your office yet. Shut up, you muggle. I'm used to teleporting everywhere. But fucking Gandalf, dude, there's literally six movies of him and a bunch of dudes just walking. His thighs have to be the size of moon craters. Moon craters. So that adventure would probably be like, uh, Gandalf, slow the fuck down. How are you not tired? Stop, Gandalf! Plus, I think Mr. Gandalf's got a little bit of a problem with old Toby. The finest weed in the South Farthing. The finest weed in the South Farthing. That bitch would be Tolkien up the entire time. Haha, <laughs> jokes. Holy fuck, young man, do you see that Balrog over there? Gandalf, there's nothing over there. Plus, on the journey, I think he'd be a little bit of a bitch about sharing his weed, so you'd ask him and he'd be like, You shall not grass! Ha <laughs> ha, jokes. Well, guys, that is it for Captain Nessa's Q&A number 34. Be sure to join me next week for Recap is Vlog number 7. And also, thank you guys so much for getting Despones, my gaming channel, to 100,000 subscribers. That is just fucking awesome. I want to do some sort of giveaway for that channel so make sure you're subscribed to it to uh, find out all the details about that anyways though I love you all and I will see you next week so fair wins